In this part, I'm going to uh, show how I install the horns and uh, springs on the tails. Uh, first, I take the carbon horns and I sand a little bit on the sides in order to uh, remove the glossiness from the, the horns. Uh, next, I, I take my springs and I prepare them. Uh, the way I plan to install them is that one piece goes through the center next to the horn. This will come after I connect the horn and the, uh, the other piece, the other side of the spring goes into uh, the stationary part of the, the tail, the tail surface um, uh, in such a way so that I get when the spring the string isn't pulling uh, I will get this type of uh, angle on the uh, on the surface okay so I'm gonna stick this here so it doesn't get lost now I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to put it on the center on both of these Okay, the um, horns go in this in exactly in the center. This is because the line for the rudder will come out of this point. After I glued the rudder on the fuselage, I will make a, a hole here, and the line will go through to the uh, to the horn. And, and on the rudder and on the elevator, there's a slot at the back end of the elevator post that the uh, horn goes through, and the line comes uh, out uh, out from. And uh, this means that the horn needs to be in the center, uh, plus minus uh, one millimeter, uh, about that. So, what I do first is that I mark the center. I take pen and I mark the center very gently. I'm using the um, the boom connector on the rudder and the holes uh, on the elevator as a guide. Next, I take the, the horns. The horns for the elevator and the rudder are exactly the same. So I line them up against the front uh, edge of the uh, moving surface and I mark uh, the end of the horn, which is where the a slot needs to end now what I do is I use a very sharp knife and I make a slot at the um, only on the outer skin only on one skin I don't go through the other skin so I make a, a, a groove on uh, on the top skin then I shift the, uh, the ruler about half a millimeter to each side and make it a bit wider so that I have a, a groove okay Now I'm actually going to use the horn itself in order to remove materials as the thickness of the horn. I'm going to use its edge and I'm going to remove materials all the way to the front of the rudder. Making sure that I don't damage the outer skin. Now the horn goes in. I make sure that it goes all the way to the other side. We want it to bond to the to the bottom uh, to the bottom surface and to the top surface, so that it's uh, bonded to when it's bonded to both surfaces. Then we get a much stronger bond for the uh, horn. Um, one thing to note is that it's installed on the side of the groove 
on the elevator and on the rudder it's installed on the side of the groove that's very important okay if you're right-handed left-handed it's the same thing it's installed on the uh, side of the groove the difference is that the right-hander will have it installed on the fuselage uh, like so with the uh, groove uh, on the opposite side of the peg uh, and the same happens in the left-hander because the peg is on the other side uh, the rudder is symmetrical so you can install it like this for left-handers or like this for right-handers so now that the groove is prepared I stick the horn all the way in I check to see that it's as perpendicular as possible that it's lined up with the facing as much as possible that it's not sticking from the other side okay it takes it's always good to take a few seconds measure twice and cut once and it's the same when gluing something I use a little bit of thin CA put a couple of drops in very little you don't need a lot you can use a pin to move the glue around a bit if needed Then I'm using some need to clean off some residue. And use some accelerator. Okay, so that it doesn't run and doesn't glue anything that it shouldn't be gluing. Putting this aside, and I'm doing the same thing on the elevator. Removing the materials from the groove, cleaning it up a bit. Checking that it's lined up. And putting some CA. Try. Now I'm going to take uh, the spring and I am going to make a small puncture next to the horn very close to the horn itself I'm making sure that it's lined up that it's not going out through the side some people use a tube but I found that in raw cell if you stick it into the raw cell and then put a drop of CA that's more than enough 
Now here what I'm doing is uh, I'm using the bend uh, to mark where I need to make a small puncture and uh, in order to do it in the right place I'm using a pin just doing a small puncture in the facing then through that puncture I put the, uh, the spring and again I watch that I'm looking from the side to make sure that it goes in straight and it doesn't come out of the sides mm. okay I'm putting a little bit of tension in order to keep it uh, from uh, loading the, uh, the rudder and, and going through especially on the fiberglass if if at this point if, before I've glued it if I pull a lot if I'll straighten this out and I'll put a lot of pressure it can go through the fiberglass so what I need to do is I'm holding everything in place I'm making sure that it's pushed all the way in now I'm taking a tiny bit of, uh, of CA, I'll, I'll make sure that my uh, paper towel here is ready and I'm putting a drop of thin CA on the edge of the, uh, the spring so it goes into the rossel, doing exactly the same thing on the other side. That's it. Make sure you hold it like this and don't close it completely. Otherwise, this might get glued to the <laughs> to this, and, and, and obviously you don't want that. Okay. After this is dry, that's it. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. puncture look from the side to see that it's straight push it all the way in make sure that it's not coming out where it doesn't need to come out I'm using the 90 degree bend in order to mark where I need to make another puncture and I am making a small hole in the facing now I'm going to stick the spring through the facing again watching that it goes in straight at the correct angle okay on this one I made the hole a little bit too close so I need to make it a little bit farther off okay You know that it's too close if you uh, see a, a, a bend on the, on the spring. You don't want to see a bend on the spring. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drop of CA on the spring. Make sure that it's all the way in. Gonna add another drop. This is done as well. I'm gonna let this dry completely, and I have two uh, tails ready to mount on the fuselage.